Australia's defence family want a fair go from the federal government. Simply, it is about fixing their unfair superannuation indexation formula. It's time to give a fair go to the soldiers, sailors and airmen who have served our country. G'day. Uh, I'm George Mansford. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, having a fair go. I guess it's true to say that uh, for most of us, uh, we joined up. We came from all walks of life and from all over Australia, from Perth to Cairns and from Darwin down to Tassie. We even threw in a few pommies as well. We became very good mates. And uh, I, 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 I think that it's also true to say that when we did join up, uh, there was never any intent that we were going to make careers out of it. But the Army did seduce us because it's a great mistress, uh, it's a great bitch of a mistress when it comes to seduction. But we enjoyed it. But what we didn't do is we didn't make a career out of soldiering to see our benefits of retirement slowly and surely being eroded. And we didn't, uh, we didn't pay for superannuation that now leaves many of our comrades at the bottom of the food chain. We were proud to have served our nation, often in a Spartan environment, even more proud of whom we were and what we were. We knew the risks and demands. We, we, what we didn't know was that although we'd played an honest game, there were those who didn't. They were not fair dinkum. And they were called politicians and they lived in a house called Parliament House. And we served our country with total loyalty and dedication. We had no unions, nor did we want them. We trusted the nation to care for us and more so for our families. Our ethos embraced mateship and loyalty and acceptance of responsibilities all level of command. And it didn't matter what rank you were, there was always someone you were responsible for. And therefore, it's very difficult to comprehend a system outside of that ethos where people simply abrogate their responsibilities. And it's my personal view that the governments of yesterday and today have done just that. They have abrogated their responsibilities to those they were responsible for. That is, those who serve their country in uniform. Read more at dfwa.org.au.